Oscar, real quick, um, just the thoughts, man. Everybody wants to know what's next for Ryan Garcia. I know, I know we have Jaime Munguia's meet today, but everybody just wants to know how fast can Ryan Garcia get back into the ring? Yeah, no, he, I don't know if you saw him, but he was in church the next day and he was running on Monday. So, um, we'll have to sit down with his team, look, give him rest. Give him some time off. Let him go do his thing, you know, and uh, and he'll be right back at it. Yeah, um, I mean, he wants to fight what twice this year. So yeah, he called out a lot of people at his post fight press conference. One in particular was Timothy Bradley Jr., who actually said if Ryan pulls off the upset, he retired from commentating. Uh, Ryan's oh. holding him to that. Uh, what are your thoughts on? Um, well, Ryan's holding him up to that. He, well, hey, I mean, don't 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 speak if you don't know what you're saying. Yeah. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. I think I think Ryan I think Ryan pulled a fast one on everybody. I knew I knew that he was ready. I knew that he was you know maybe trolling everybody, but it actually worked. Yeah. You know his game plan actually worked outside the ring to sell the fight because the numbers are going to be huge. But inside the ring, more importantly, yeah. he got into Devin's head. He made Devin feel like he had to knock him out. You know, he, he was he was angry inside the ring. And uh, Devin Haney normally fights calm. He, he fights in control. And this time around, he uh, just lost his composure. And uh, Ryan Garcia just took advantage. Last thing, Oscar, were you ever confused at all heading into that fight regarding of the mixed signals you were getting? Were oh, you yeah. Ever nervous or really confused? Of course. I almost fell for it, too. But I was I, I stuck with Ryan a thousand percent. I knew exactly. From fighter to fighter, I knew exactly what he was doing.